Hello, everyone. Thank you so much for joining us for our presentation of Blooper. Um, we feel here at Blooper that watching Grandpa get hit in the jewels, so much funnier with sound effects. Um, moving on to our business model, uh, Blooper is going to be an app you can download to your phone, to your smartphone, uh, where you'll be easily able to load up your personal videos and add sa sound themes on those videos. Um, we have found from market research that there just isn't an app that allows you to easily add sound themes, such as you see in America's Funniest Home Videos, and make your own where you can post it to Facebook, YouTube, or other social networking. Um, this is our team. Um, we have uh, Ms. Rebecca. I'm going in order here. Okay, we have me. Yay! Our team lead, and that's why I'm up here talking to all you wonderful people. Uh, next, we have uh, Eric Downey. Here's our numbers guy. He's doing our projections. Um, after taking all of our statistics that Rebecca here, um, who is our research researcher, brought to us. Um, and then, of course, we have Lauren. He is the tech guy behind it, and how we were able to design our model. Um, so, moving forward, um, how Blooper works: you shoot, add sounds, and then post to your favorite. Um, uh, social networking group and of course that's the beauty of it is adding sounds to what may be a dull video. Um, moving after that, um, how we would design our, um, our theme organizer. What are the, um, as we were researching this a little deeper, we found that there just wasn't a database that easily organized sound that you could add A to videos um, or to your personal movies um, and that wasn't organized easily so if you had a sound theme in mind it was easy to find. Um, so that's something that we would add into our business model. Um, our <coughs> revenue, of course, we're about fun. We are about money too. Um, one of the we, one of the ways that we are going to we are going to make revenue is um, it's going to be a free app. Um, you can download this application for free. You only have a base of um, amount of themes that you can <coughs> upload to your personal videos with this free um, free application. Um, the revenue we are going to get. Um, based on what looking at the Apple iStore um, they're getting now is um, it's a per click system for um, once they download our application um, there'll be other advertisers that um, people might be interested in clicking on. Um, and then of course you can go to Blooper Full which has a lot more themes that you can add to your video um, and that will be advertisement free. <clears throat> so our customer validation. So you know where, where do we find that there was actual people interested in this? First, we looked at the amount of people that um, have iPhones, which will be our first um, first phone that we'll be using this app on. 29% of all cell phone users have iPhones. Of the people that have smartphones, 29% of those use apps. And of course, people with smartphones have cameras and video makers. And 34% of those have 34% um, of cell phone users, um, smartphone users, use their video player. So. Um, Next off um, was our market need. So is there a need for this? We sent um, surveys to over 2,300 people um, using uh, using Facebook. 90% said they do not have a video software that has blooper noises to add to their personal video. 55.3% said they would use an app that added blooper noises to their personal videos. And 44% said they, said they would pay over a dollar or more for this application. Um, competition. So who's out there and does this? Well, for the model that we have, not very many people. Um, do our idea is to have a very simple software system where you can easily add your, add your personal videos and add songs into specific segments of those videos. Um, this is some of the competition that we found. Um, and as you can see, most of them do not have music libraries. And if so, they're not easily, easily able to slice the video and add those into your personal video and then upload, upload those to a social network group. Um, partner. So um, as for our execution, how are we going to get this off the ground? What do we need? Well, first off, we found a consulting um, company called Catapult that will design, develop, and test this application for us. Um, from there, we will reach the Apple App Store market, and they will actually find us advertisers um, for our initial free app. So how are we going to make money? Well, we're going to um, um, have it on the Apple App Store. Um, and then, of course, we need investors who expect an 800% ROI, and of course, we'll be explaining that number in much more detail with questions. Um, and then, finally, go ahead. Our exit strategy, after two years, we're going to sell it off to Splice or YouTube or, or any other video editing software that wants an app, app application. Go ahead for our last slide. Hold on. Edge your seats, I know. 
we have The investors will return after two years four million dollars. So they'll eight times their initial investment. Did you stress test these numbers? Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we stress test them in our Microsoft Excel platform. Actually, what we did do is we talked with Catapult Consulting, a leading app, uh, a leading app developer with two top twenty download. Um, programs and also the Alaska channel which developed the Alaska app and they gave us some type of confirmation around these areas and we did cut our revenues in half and we did double our expenses just to see if it would still work. So where's your development expenses on here? Uh, they're in there in the SG&A. Okay. And we, we were quoted $50,000 by one developer and $20,000 by another developer. You need a half million to start up though? Yeah. And what is that money going to go for? $100,000 will go to the pre launch and then uh, half of it for advertising and half of it for development. And then in the first year and a half, working capital until we can come into profits. Working capital toward? Uh, toward admin, promotion, and continued development. And what about the actual sound effects in, in, in the that, that. That's actually pretty cheap. I'll let you. Uh, we're just gonna. Uh, there's um, sound effects all over the internet that you can actually download for twenty dollars. That's the beauty about our company. We're organizing this for our for the people who will be using our application. Yes, you can go all over the internet and find these soundtracks. Why do you want to go all over the internet when you can go to our app and easily use it and easily add it to your video? Are there copyright issues? Or like one of the things you had listed was like Sean Connery's voice. Uh, yeah, Rebecca, research that. Uh, yes. Um, generally, it falls into sort of a public domain area when you get into public figures and fictional characters, whatever, who just have that huge of a franchise and their image is used that often. Um, if it's under 30 seconds as far as clip or a small little picture or something, then it's, it generally just falls more around the area of advertising and it's more, um, more publicity, if you will, so they, they don't. That's where part of our cost to go is to buy these songs so that we, of course, can use them without infringing on any copyright laws. They own radio, so you can pay a lot of money to have a licensing fee to be able to play music and even sound effects, they have sound effects like that they pay money for. So right. you, you can and that's built into our business model. Yeah. Okay. But certainly if they use your voice, you want to want to we use less than 30 seconds, though, so it should be okay. <laughs> you good? No more questions? Thank you. Yeah. How, how, real quick, how are you going to do it? Is it something you're going to edit on your phone? You're going to say about the story? I mean, how are you logistically going to do it if the app well, user? Of course, we are going to be talking with our development team, but as we said, um, and as you have kind of made a, a short uh, clip of the model, um, it will be an application where you have your um, raw data already on your phone, already yeah. downloaded on your phone, and then you just upload it to our application, and then you can do all the editing in there. And from there, we'll have partners with Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, and you can upload to those social events or just save it back to your phone. And we already have a, a web page set up, a Facebook set up, and a Twitter set up. Google AdWords to validate the market, and a uh, launch rock. Um, test landing page. <laughs> Superbloopersworld.com. Yep, thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you.